What's up guys? Welcome to the second episode of Let's Create, where I talk about the webcomic I made for the Webtoon Call to Action Contest that was hosted last year. I've been meaning to get this video out ages ago, but life has kind of gone unplanned. I had graduated, managed to get a part-time job again, and then I've just been really busy with a bit of freelancing and just focusing solely on my art. But I'm sort of free, so I figured now's a good time to make this video and let you know the process of how I made my webcomic. Now disclaimer, I am not an expert at art nor creating comics. This was the first ever proper webcomic I made, so it's pretty rough. This video is also not to try and discourage you from trying to make webcomics. I just want you guys to be aware of what happened during my time working on this, so you can take it into consideration when you actually do jump into webcomics. Now, I feel like I should provide a bit of context as to what the contest was and why I joined, just so you can kind of understand why I decided to make the webcomic. So Webtoon basically announced a contest in 2022 called Call to Action. Now, when I first read that, I thought it meant the marketing term where you try to encourage customers to buy your product, or like in the stories where there's a situation that calls upon the hero to go on a journey or save the day. In this case, it meant an action scene aka a fight scene where you would basically draw at least two characters fighting each other within the minimum of 60 panels and it had to be fully coloured. Now, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I joined because of the money. I was like, if there's a slim chance of me winning anything monetary, I would put it towards paying off my student loan because one of my main goals in life is to be debt free. Another reason was because I was already planning on making an attempt at a webcomic. I just didn't know when the right time was. So seeing a context like this really helped me decide and be like, you know what? I'm gonna actually do it. I would definitely recommend joining contests like these just to know how it feels and for practice before you actually make the big leap. Now, apparently there was a fine print I didn't read because if you happen to be, I believe like the top three, you would not be able to get the prize money unless you accepted having your comic become an original. Looking back at it now, if I had managed to place in the top three, somehow miraculously, I would immediately forfeit the prize and I will explain later on why. So the one shop webcomic I entered into the contest is called Midnight. It basically revolved around a character named Azrael who has to fight a demon named Cruciax in order to prevent his body from being completely taken over and, you know, dying. If you're interested in reading it, I will put a link in the description down below to said comic. Bear in mind my art style, the way I approach drawing and storytelling has significantly changed since the creation of the comic. So I personally see a lot of issues with it, but to the four people that commented on my webcomic saying it was good. Thank you so much guys, I didn't expect anyone to enjoy it. So besides seeing some really cool entries from some underrated creators, I think something I really benefited from making this webcomic was being diligent and finding better ways to draw certain things. I had to learn about perspective, how to use some of the blur effects in Clip Studio, and also just general things like facial expression and props. Some other things I improved on was consistency in terms of the way characters looked or the things they wore, but I think the best thing I gained from this comic was just figuring more efficient ways of drawing and colouring things without really losing the quality. I honestly think that had I not chosen to participate in this contest, I would not have improved as much as I have now. Having Clip Studio definitely helped a lot. There were some neat tools there that I relied on a lot and I didn't even know half of these tools existed until I began this comic. So thank you Clip Studio for being there when I really needed you. One thing I will say though is to not rely on the default speech bubble. Just looking back at it now, it looks way too formal and just didn't fit the vibe of my art style back then. I believe there are some really cool speech bubble defaults on the Accent store so I definitely recommend checking them out or making your own. It was honestly so cool just seeing the final result of my hard work. I think it took me about two months to finish this and I was so happy to finally relax and chill because I actually needed to. Please, please, please guys, if you're ever wanting to invest a lot of your time into making a webcomic or just any major art project, please make sure that you have a comfortable, appropriate sitting posture. When I made this comic, 
A majority of my day to day was basically me hunched over my tablet in my chair, sitting like I was an overcooked shrimp. I suffered so much back pain even way after I had finished the comic and sleeping was just a complete pain for me. Because I was a one man band, I still am, and there was a deadline for the contest, I definitely spent a lot of my days just sitting at my desk hacking away at this comic for hours on end. So there wasn't a lot of relaxation for me. Just to note, I was also studying full time, so I was juggling both while also neglecting to properly socialize and eat. Now going back to what I said earlier about rejecting the prize money, I don't think I would have had the drive to consistently be able to create and post an episode each week if I were a webtoon original creator. If I had a team, maybe, but the unfortunate bad experience of my back pain definitely solidified that being a webcomic creator probably isn't going to be my thing anytime soon. Ultimately, regardless of my health issues, it was still quite neat to experience creating a full proper webcomic and just viewing my final creation. I could maybe see myself entering more contests like these and I've pondered about the idea of remaking my webcomic like I do for this one singular drawing I do every November. Now, bear in mind that this is my personal experience with creating a webcomic. Other people would definitely have vastly different experiences and that's completely okay. As I said, I'm not trying to discourage you from taking a webcomic path, just letting you guys know about the things you may encounter on the journey so that you can plan ahead and resolve it better than I did. Though definitely, don't sit like a shrimp, you will regret it. Anyways, that's basically it from me. It has been like a million years since I posted a proper video. I am hoping to be a little more consistent with my content, but I can't really guarantee anything. But until next time, see you later guys.